Hey everyone, it's Matt, and we're out here at the Santa Clara uh, Flipper House, and it's all done, and they're supposed to close on the 25th of this month, July, and this is just going over what we've done. That's the master bedroom vanity with a cabinet in the middle for storage, toothbrush, all that kind of cool stuff, instead of having a medicine cabinet. And we come out here and this is the kitchen island. And then this is the kitchen cabinets. And what, we, what we've done is we've got an aspen white color with a Van Dyke brown glaze with a transitional look to it with a shaker style door and drawer fronts. The crown molding is a mission brown with a black glaze. So it's a two-tone look. That is the hood. Uh, and at the top, I made my own grid for the exhaust to come out. Uh, and then we have a corner cabinet there and microwave there. And this is a pantry. These are pullouts with adjustable shelves in them. So you can put all your canned goods, grocery boxes, or not grocery boxes, cereal boxes, things like that. And so there's four of those, and everything is on the soft closed hardware. And then what we've got here is a utensil drawer for forks, knives, and spoons, and miscellaneous. And then next to that, we have an area where you can put your spatulas for your stove. And everything is on the soft close. And we've got the these are the moldings. This is the entry door. This is a header and columns that I've made, custom made. All the, all the moldings are handmade, including the baseboard. Um, I've made them with uh, my routers and my router bits. I don't have any molders or anything like that. So this is the old style, handmade, custom design, crafted moldings. This is the living room. And all of this was done on the job. I made all the moldings in the shop, but we had to, we did this uh, radius piece here on the job. And then we've got the front bedroom. Again, that has a radius look to it on the top. And then we've got the hall bath. These are again a glazed painted cabinet look. And yes, we have the soft closed drawers. And we have the soft soft closed door hinges on it. And that's typical throughout. And then we have the stairway, which I'll show you in detail in a minute. And then we have the laundry room. This is where the washer and dryer goes. Upper cabinets, clothes rod for drip dry stuff. Base cabinet. And then the stairway. And on the stairway, I've made everything except for the railing. We bought the railing. And the balusters are metal. But the Newell post here with the caps and everything I've made by hand and I did all the installation on it. Made a transitional piece and it's sprayed black with the railing and the top of the caps are alder with a Renaissance brown stain and a Van Dyke brown or excuse me black glaze on it black baseboard and then the riser at the top, kick plate, uh, is black. I had to make a transitional piece from the floor because the guys that did the wood floor didn't do anything with that so I had to do something with it. And then the railing going down and what I do is this um, back plate here with this piece made here, generally what you do is you have a, a metal bracket that fastens to the wall, but then you've got to find the, the studs to screw it into, and normally it's not where you want it to be. So what I do is I make this uh, 
back plate here, custom designed something to reflect. This basically reflects the top of the railing. This little piece here is, this is a reflection of it. So what I do is I take and mount the railing to this and then I take and lift the railing up and I know about where it has to go and then I can take and shoot this into the studs, putty the holes and, uh, and it's stable. It'll never come off the wall, but it just is easier to install it that way. At least for me it is. And then this is the bottom here we had to take and, and uh, I had to make these pieces on the side for it to, to meet code because the stairway wasn't going to meet code. You can see where I've had to, I had to make this piece here to go around this wall here, but if we would have had the railing going up both sides, it wouldn't have met code. It would have been, uh, the staircase would have been too narrow. And again, these are handmade columns and a black kick plate at the bottom instead of the carpet. Then this is the bathroom downstairs. This is a pull-out hamper. And then you've got drawers on the other side. And then, of course, with the mirror, vessel sink, and then behind the door, we've got this linen cabinet. And again, everything is the aspen white with a glazed look, just to give it a more of an aged antique look. And see inside of the cabinet, all the shelves, we have all the shelves that are just sitting down here at the bottom, ready to be put in. And then we have the kitchen area down here. They're black with a brush nickel knobs, a little upper cabinet there for storage of glasses. And this space here with the door on it, that's for a dishwasher. If they want to put a dishwasher in, eventually they can do it. And then this is where the fridge goes. They had to do use some drywall patching. Electrician had to come in and, and uh, do some wiring for the dishwasher, put it on a different circuit. So, and then this is the media room downstairs. This is uh, one of the bedrooms downstairs. It's a six bedroom house, including the master. This is a little craft room area. No window in it. Probably would have been a good idea to put a window in it, but there is no window. It's just an open space and we trimmed it out. Again, we made all of these moldings down here as well and the baseboards. All the moldings around the windows, the sliding glass door, we, we trimmed it out to match. Let's go back upstairs. Up here we trimmed out the sliding glass door with the header and the windows to match with a sill molding underneath and we made the mantle. So we've done probably 70% of the work in this house with the moldings, the cabinets, and the stairway. So that's the tour of the Santa Clara house. Again, this is under contract and we're supposed to close on the 25th of this month and I believe this house was on the market for a month and it sold prior to finishing everything because they liked the moldings that they saw and so if you're trying to do a flipper house or a spec house or even your own custom home, what we do is add value to your home. And this style of moldings are timeless and they add value. So instead of this, uh, originally this opening here was just gonna have bullnose drywall, like this opening has, just gonna be bullnose like that. Not real impressive, but when you put a molding like this around it, it makes it very impressive. And again, it adds value, so. Anyways, this is Matt out here at Santa Clara, Utah, and we'll talk to you later. Have a great day.